This is the Cirrix 300 system, SuperSocket 7 system, and I've replaced the fan that was here with one that's got a 3 pin header and I've got this Zalman fan mate, I think it's called. Yep. So that I can change the speed of this fan so that I can turn it down so it's less noisy. Um, and then the only thing you're hearing now is the hard drive but we may look at placing that in the future. But what I wanted to do was install Office 97, which is, for some reason, one of the uh, Office versions that I particularly like. I don't know why. Just something about it. So it's from, you know, 97-ish, 96, late 96. So. This will run on this system, or should run, very well. I'm installing it from a USB drive. Um, and I think you used to be able to just put yeah, anything you want, really, in there. Put it on C, which is the hard drive. Let's see what the options are. Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Access, Outlook. I don't think I'll bother with Outlook. Web page authoring? No. And you can go into each option Microsoft Query, database drivers, Visual Basic. Mm. Let's go with all, and you can go into each of these, and there's other options as well. So Office Tools, Shortcut Bar, no thanks, Photo Editor, yes, Lotus Support. I will put that there just so you can see it. All sorts of different options. AutoCAD, Corel Draw, Kodak Photo CD. Wizards databases. Yeah. Got plenty of space, so let's just uh, Microsoft Map. So we've selected everything apart from Outlook and web page authoring and it's going to use 164 megabytes, which is not a lot really. Everything's in gigabytes these days.
think that's the screensaver trying to come on. <coughs> I set that to about five, I don't know, a minute, five minutes? No, it would be about a minute just for something for the computer to do. We worked hard to improve Microsoft Office and integrate it with the internet. Is that what that just said? Or to make it work with the internet? Well, we have to restart. Oh, it's cleaning up after itself. If you have a modem, you can now click the online registration button. No, thanks. What's this? Set up for Microsoft Internet Explorer 3. <laughs> what, what's this one? Surely we've already got a new version. Explorer 5, so we don't really need 
Internet Explorer 3.1. Let's um, start some Office programs then. There we go, they're just in the root here. Word, PowerPoint, Photo Editor, Excel, Binder, Access, Reference, Bookshelf Basics. And these are some of the other things that are on here. So Word. Look how quick that loads. There's Mr. Clippy. Let's do that again. Oh, start using Word. Okay. Word. Boom. Mm. Nope. I'd be even quicker without Clippy. PowerPoint. Okay. <laughs> Excel. Access. There we go, there's a sample database. <laughs> what else can we do? Queries. set up a default printer macros modules sweet uh, photo editors more of a scanning type solution Selector scanning device, etc. Not many options are there. Well, there you go. Office 97. With Clippy. Clippy's got these neat things where you can just go, oh, I want to write a CV, and then it'll come up, what would you like to do? Create a resume. So you can sort of. Um, has this wizard to uh, help you do things. Oh, it's just a template, isn't it? File, new, other documents, resume wizard. Then if I move this stuff out of the way, I can start filling in, get the templates for different styles. Functional, entry level, I don't know, professional. And you can start filling in the information. Phone numbers. Fax, email. Oh, my keyboard is not set up correctly. What else? Summary of qualifications. References. Awards. Are there any additional headings? No. It lays it all out. I just fill it all in. Add a cover letter, change visual style, shrink to fit. Okay. Yeah, go away. 
you just fill in the stuff and then you've got a CV <laughs> Here are all the things that it's added to the um, startup Microsoft Find Fast, Microsoft Office Shortcut Bar, Office Startup. I mean, you don't really need these things. Index for documents in and below. And then, of course, the uh, shortcut bar, which goes here. New office document. Oh, you can't see it. New office document. Open document. Bookshelf. Getting results, but everything's kind of missing. So you want your programs, don't you? Like Word, Excel, PowerPoint whole bunch of other shortcuts new office document even have a desktop. <laughs> There's not many colours, are the colours not there? Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Binder, Access, MS-DOS prompt, why not open them all? Microsoft Excel's got this interesting Easter egg, which hopefully I will be able to show you. Hold Control Shift, click on the chart wizard toolbar button. This one, yep. And you basically have some kind of weird flight simulator thing built into Excel. I have no idea why. It's just the kind of thing they did. I guess if you're bored, you wanted to play a game and there's no games on your computer, they put this one into uh, Excel for you, but there's not really anything to do. Oh, it changes colour there. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, I found... Oh, look, here we go. Some uh, credits. 